Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, sitting in this chair on ZX Spectrum 48K, about to review International Karate, published by System 3 Software in 1985. It's the prequel to the amazing IK Plus in 1987, which I really, really like, so it'll be interesting to see what this first game looks like. Uh, the game also came out in the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Essentially, uh, you're versus the computer, and there's player twos here, and it's the first to score two for full points to uh, win the bout. We start off in Australia. I'm the red one on the left. Oops, there's different moves here. Not quite as fluid as IK Plus, but it did come beforehand. Who got the. Oh, good speech there. IK Plus didn't have speech on it, so that's interesting. Yes, the first to score two points, and then if you're successful, you will then go to the next destination around the world. And I. I'm getting my buck. Oh, I got. Oh, I got, I won there. I didn't think I did. Uh, the boats in the uh, river aren't moving at all. I don't know why. Maybe the wind's dropped. Um, we're fighting outside the Sydney Opera House. Now, oh dear, it's a bit clunky. This. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. I don't know if IK Plus is maybe done with a different engine. Possibly it is. Uh, that was three fighters on the uh, on the place in that game. Here we're both in the same colours, makes it a bit tricky, but there's a handy red arrow pointing upwards that tells me which one's me. Now I'm glancing down on, on, on a joystick doing this, slightly broken in one direction, so it's not, not the best, but uh, I, I'm, I'm compensating with a key uh, thing. So somersault, come on Nick, get that other point, and I've been floored again. Point white. I would like this back in the day. Really good uh, backgrounds there. Um, IK Plus is a lot better in my opinion in terms of the playability. Uh, when I'm doing the... Oh, good one. When I'm doing the uh, controls, it only feels like I'm almost like semi in control of the thing. There's a light, slight delay. Uh, you get half a point for a half a contact. Uh, I think a whole point for a full contact to the head or etc. Time's ticking down in the middle. I think there's three 30 second bouts to do this in. Uh, White's got 3,600 points at the moment, I've just got 600. These views, as we always know, and I always say, are of the standpoint of your first or second go. So this isn't going to be expert gameplay by any strength of the imagination. It's about seeing how you would have got on back in the day. And would there have been enough playability there to grab you and want you to go back and play it again? At the moment, I think um, this would have grabbed me because it's large sprites of the era, 1985. Um, and there's a lot of different moves, which is unusual. I, I was used to Yeeha Kung Fu back in the day, which in turn had a few um, uh, moves there. But the characters were a lot smaller. Uh, this one uh, does look uh, quite well cool, and the backgrounds are, are more detailed than Yi Ye Kung Fu as well. But uh, yes, it's a bit ungainly though, uh, and the speech is great. Uh, there weren't too many games that had speech all the way through it, and this is playing really nifty. International Karate 48k System Free Software. Uh, do check out the review I done well a long, long time ago of IK Plus. Maybe I need to do a revisited of uh, that one at some point. That plays better than this. So I'm trying to get to my favourite move. Stop. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't get enough points to progress. So it's probably likely that my whole uh, the whole review I'm going to be stuck in uh, Australia here trying to beat this fellow. If you've got to any of the other countries, let me know. I'll be interested to see what country comes next. I'm guessing it's capital cities all around the world. Maybe London will turn up at some stage. But let's just stick with the thing. See if I can perfect it. So there's a leaping punches. Uh, you can defend as well. Good one. Did I get that? No, he good then. Um, you pull down the joystick for like a kick to the foot. Up for um, a, a long jump. Fire button and diagonal downwards for a spin around in the opposite direction. Good. That was my best shot so far. Come on, Nick. Let's at least get this one. Now, I am finding this game a little bit addictive, you know. I, I want to perfect it. I want to get on to the next thing. It's not as exciting as IK Plus in the idea. IK Plus was a bit faster. You fought two other computer compo uh, opponents to get points. Um, when you got over a certain amount of points, you went up the belt, starting from white belt, trying to get to a black belt. And there's also some mini games in between as well, uh, where you have to get a shield and you have to block um, bouncing balls coming across. On the 16 bit versions, there's another mini game where you have to deflect bombs uh, from exploding as well. Um, you know, it hasn't aged particularly well this but from a historical point of view. If you're aware of the other games in 1985, uh, you would, um, well, I would say that this is good. Oh, I've won the round. I don't know quite how I did that as I was talking away. Oops, I'm sure I should have ducked that knife. Anyway, we're going somewhere different. Congratulations, you now fly to Rio. 
Well, there we go. So uh, this is in Brazil then. There's Christ the Redeemer on the top of uh, that mountain. What is it, Sugarloaf Mountain? All right, I'm seeing me get my eye in here. Can we get out of Rio? Very small buildings along the beach there. Looks like if we walk up to them, we can just climb on them like cobbles. Right, that's another good point. Come on. I'm trying to time that kick. That seems to be my favourite move. Again, there's water in the background. I've never been to Brazil. I've never been to Australia either. There's two places I'd like to go. If you're, if you're watching from either of those places, comment below. Uh, what is it like there? And what countries would you like to visit in st uh, if you was going somewhere else? Now, come on. Let's go, go, go. Oh, come on. Let's get a kick to the person. Oops, no. We got, went for the lug sweep like Karate Kid. Point. Wait. How am I doing here? Come on, I need a kick to the head. Oh, that was so close. If I made contact there, I might be going to my next destination. It's a crazy destination. So there's quite a few uh, fighting games. I've mentioned Yi Ha Kung Fu. Oh, that was much better than the sequel, Yi Ha Kung Fu uh, 2. There's the Double Dragon ones, of, of course, a way of the exploding fist, uh, which is more in this sort of like a, uh, this sort of style. Side Combat, if you're unaware of that, I'm sure we've reviewed a few other ones as well. But do avoid Ninja Hamster, because Ninja Hamster is a stinker. You might have seen that review already. Do not play Ninja Hamster. Uh, you play a character, an animal, I think a hamster, and you go around fighting other animals like mice and stuff. It's terrible. Red. Good. D am I going to the next destination now? No. I won the bout, but I didn't score enough points. You need two points for a win, as you can see up the top there next to your score. Right, come on, Nick. Come on, let's get, let's get going. Let's get out of Brazil. Let's go to Rio. It's one of my dreams, really, always to have gone to the, uh, the, the Rio Carnival. Uh, it would be nice to go and see that at some point. Right, okay. We seem to be out of lockdown at the moment, but uh, it's, it's a changing thing. This video has been recorded in 2022, so hopefully we're getting outside that. If you're liking your ZX Spectrum uh, games, we've reviewed quite a lot. Well, well hundreds. Uh, we've still got thousands to do, so we're never going to run out. So thank you for watching this far in the video. If you want to see other ZX Spectrum videos, click on my username at some point. That'll take you to the channel page. Uh, then click on the playlist tab. ZX Spectrum will be there, uh, as well as a number of other systems. And thank you to those people that subscribe so far uh, if you haven't already and you like this kind of stuff then please consider doing so We've got a good community growing here so i uh, thank you there and massive thank you to the members that are making this whole thing possible thank you as i say i gradually try and improve it recently improved it with the tech which hopefully you can see in the friday chats that we sometimes do well mostly do right biff 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 Get access to the members section if you're a member and you can see a members video each week saying what, what game is coming up the following week Right, come on, Nick. Uh, the aim is to get one day go full-time with this, but uh, I have to work part-time as well. But I do put up uh, a lot of content for you, hopefully. So, you know, I, I pull out all the stops for you to try and see as many games as we possibly can. And it's all about de-stressing also as these two guys fight in their pyjamas uh, next to each other. Christ the Redeemer is up the top there. He doesn't look very impressed. He looks a bit more like the, um, the Angel of the North, really. Come on, come on. So I don't get off this soon. I won't be playing it too much longer. Makes me want to play IK Plus straight away. That's the IK Plus music um, on the on the Amiga anyway. I hope you're hearing that in your brain now. Be good if there was music in the background to this. It would have lifted it ever so slightly but again 1985 is that year that marty mcfly kept wanting to go back to maybe because he had international karate and he wanted to play it on the zx spectrum but i don't i don't know how big zx spectrum was in the us probably not that big uh, it was more like your, your nintendo wasn't it over there and maybe master system to a degree let me know put me straight put me straight right now how's the fighting going i'm still stuck in brazil Mind you, there's worse places to be st uh, uh, stuck there. I'm not sure how tall Christ the Redeemer is. Not sure. I'm glad the Ghostbusters didn't go there uh, because um, the Christ the Redeemer probably would have come to life like the Stay Path Marshmallow Man. But I can't compare Christ the Redeemer to the Stay Path Marshmallow Man because that's probably bad juju. So I won't. There's a big guy in the background there with a, a red hairdo. You can see on the right there. He's probably the judge of the whole thing. He's doing the speech. If we walked up to him, he'd be massive. Yes, it's a massive Buddha, is it? Or is it a bloke wearing makeup? Maybe it's Boy George. Do you really want to hurt me? Well, quite clearly he does. Do you really want to make me cry? 
Right, come on, come on, let's just do this. Let's, all we need is two points. We haven't got two points so far. Um, right, I'm probably going to be playing this a lot longer without me uh, realising it. Uh, if you're watching these live as they go up, uh, we tend to do two ZX Spectrum games on a Saturday, so have a look out for the other one as well. Boof! Oh man. Uh, the other one is a uh, shooter, I, I, I believe, of, of sorts. I'm not sure it's meant to be a shooter, but that's how it's come out as. Uh, so yeah, quick animation on this one, uh, but not as well, quick-ish for the amount of sprites it's moving around for the era, but not as quick as IK Plus or 1987. I think I 1987 they might have invented a new compiler or a new engine to process all the movements pretty quickly. Because it's, it's having to do a lot of stuff here, that is for sure. It's having to draw and redraw stuff, it's having to do the speech. Uh, the background probably takes a bit of memory as well, because that's rather cool. Um, it's, it's well put together this one. I, I I like it, but better ones were to come. IK Plus was no um, Yi Ar Kung Fu was immediately uh, playable, but I did tend to keep doing the same move here. Uh, this one I'm, I'm favouring the um, the the down uh, kick sweep and the flying kick if I can uh, time it there. Uh, it's all about I suppose defending and drawing back when the right point is, recognising what the other player is doing, but I don't seem to, oh they've got two points in a row there, I don't seem to be making a good uh, a good uh, thing of it at this point. Come on Nick, let's do this, let's do it. Right, not coming too many more punches to throw here. Come on, everybody was Kung Fu fighting, but this isn't Kung Fu, it's karate. What's the most lethal, this is going to split the crowd, what's the most lethal martial art? Like if a top karate person met a top kung fu person, who would win? And if a top judo person met a top kai kondo person, who would win? And if a top uh, ninja person met a top darts person, who would win? We just don't know. We, we, need, we need to pair these people together. What's the most deadliest martial art? And maybe the deadliest martial art is a mixture of all, all of them uh, mixed uh, together, perhaps. Right. Oops, I was trying to time my flying kick like Danny LaRusso and the karate kick when he did that. Uh, well, he had two arms deep side. I don't know what that kick's called. He had two arms deep side bouncing on one foot. The blonde haired chap uh, went in his general direction and got a big kick in the nose. Didn't break his nose though, I don't think. But he went down and that was uh, that was the end of Cobra Kai. But Cobra Kai has come back as a, well, as a modern day series, which I've been meaning to uh, watch for a while. Oh man, that, that sea's not going to come in, there's no one walking past, there's no birds or anything, but we don't expect that, do we really? Come on, let's get a fluke hit now, I've been in Brazil for a while, we got out of the, of, uh, I think it must have been uh, Sydney in uh, Australia quite quickly. If you're watching Kylie Minogue, a big uh, hello to you, I, I don't know how often Kylie Minogue drops in to watch these videos, but a big hello to you. Right, uh, yes, I'd like to see Kylie Minogue uh, someday just turn up in the uh, comments section. Right. The locomotion, this is a bit of a locomotion for you. Two guys in their pyjamas fighting in Brazil. The carnival's probably going on next door, but these these just guys just want to uh, go around the world in their fighting. A bit of colour class when we jump into the scenery, most notably uh, the black on the sea. Uh, Boy George looks a bit non plus. He's saying, Come a, come a, come a, come a chameleon. Um, if he was a chameleon, he'd disappear against the background, so I'm glad he isn't. Um, uh, does that me through to the next round? No, it isn't. I need another kick. Oh, look at that. It had to be done within the bout and re reset again. I don't think I can play this for too much longer, you know, but um, I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's quite therapeutic. If you're still here, let me know. It's probably a bit more fun to play than to watch, to be fair. But if you're still here, you're probably like the kind of rubbish that I uh, keep talking over and over and over again. So well done. Well done, you. This, this, this channel will be here for as long as I'm alive. I don't know how long that will be. The year 3028. That's what I'm aiming for. Good. If you're in, in the, if you just discovered this channel, it's the year 3029. Apologies uh, there that I couldn't hang on, but uh, I might be preserved as a brain in a jar. Uh, if so, um, then comment below, and I'll try and answer in in the. If there is comments below, still it might be something else. It might be some virtual room like the Matrix or something. Anyway, um, comment in the comment section below, or walk over to the virtual bar and buy me a pint and say hello. Whatever, whatever's valid uh, for the year that you're watching this thing. Technology moves. Walk like an Egyptian. Boop boop. Oops, a kick in the back. Who, who would kick you in the back? That's not very sportsmanlike, is it? Right. Anyway. Alright, uh, this will be my last bout. What we got? Five seconds there. This will be my last bout. Then I'll probably get out of here because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get out of here anytime quickly. Oh, unless that punch. Uh, 
uh, hit there, but I don't think it would have done. Right, okay, okie dokie, okie dokie. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was on the ZX Spectrum 48K. That was International Karate, published by System Free Software in 1985. A good start, but IK Plus in 1987, two years later, was going to be heaps and heaps better. Big sprites, it was sort of okay, but as I say, it needed a better engine, which IK Plus delivered. So a good introduction. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was International Karate on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by System Free Software in 1985, with, with good speech in there, it has to be said. Uh, until next time, um, Please put your comments in the comment section what you think about the game. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.